Hey there guys, welcome back. Uh, recently we posted a video on reclaiming wood where we salvaged a bunch of uh, wood from old garage doors and as promised here's the video showing what we did or what we built. Yeah. After taking stock of what we had, uh, Stefan decided it would be a good idea to build a farm style table with a laminate top as we had a fair amount, a fair, about 60 uh, 50 by 18 mil by 1.7 meters long planks. We figured we'd laminate all these small ones or glue them all together to make a quite a nice thick tabletop and use the the other or the rest of the reclaimed wood or salvage wood to make the base or the legs. Sounds straight. Sounds straight. Uh, at this stage, we decided to get right on it, glue the top. Uh, we didn't have enough. Clamps, so Stefan decided to build a clamping jig. Uh, he designed it, built it using some of the offcuts from the door, and we proceeded to clamp the top. It took quite some time. We probably could have streamlined the process of gluing instead of just gluing each plank at a time. Uh, it also used much more glue than we expected it would, and we ran out halfway through, and I had to drive quite late at night searching for a shop that sells wood glue. Luckily we found it, found it and proceeded to clamp the or glue the rest of the, of the tabletop. We braced the top of the clamp and started tensioning it. Looking back we probably should have glued smaller parts at a time, maybe quarters, uh, which would have given us the ability to put it through the uh, uh, thickness planer and then just gluing the, the four quarters of the door. But being beginners, we didn't think of that and we tried to glue the whole table at once. Because of this, we needed a fair amount of tension on the clamp and the clamp couldn't take it and it broke. Stefan was quite disappointed at this stage. <laughs> We collected ourselves, made a quick fix on the clamp and applied pressure to the, to, the, to the top and left it 24 hours to cure, or 12 hours. Next morning we came back, took the top out of the, of the clamp and we were quite positive at this stage, it looked good and it felt quite solid. Worked. <gasps> Shabby. But unfortunately, when moving it outside, it collapsed under its own weight. Okay. Once again, quite disappointed. Uh, we collected ourselves, uh, sanded down the poor joint, or planed it down, and clamped it again. Well, another 12 hours later, we removed the braces, and this time, decided to sand the top while it is still resting on the clamp. We sand it down the one side, braced it with planks and clamps, and turned it around to sand the other side. At this stage we moved it back into our workshop and used the circular saw to square out the top. At this point we got cracking on the legs of the table. We cut the wood according to Stefan's design and assembled using mortise and tenon joints. We are by no means experts at joint making, so with help from the mitre saw and the drill press, we made the mortise and tenons. We then assembled the base of the table, or the legs, Clamped it and left to cure. While the legs were curing, we fit the tabletop braces as per Stefan's drawing. With the braces fitted to the tabletop and the legs cured, it was as simple as putting the tabletop on top of the legs. 
Stefan designed the table to be able to dismantle, making for easier transportation. All that was left to do at this stage was to sand down the table with a fine grit and the orbital sander and to treat the wood. All in all, we were very happy with the results. Neither myself or Stefan has ever built a table before, and now we did it for free. We'll be posting plans for the clamp and the table to woodworkjunkie.com. We'd love to know what you guys think, so leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more like these, subscribe to our channel and you'll see you guys soon. See you guys.